I'm just sitting here enjoying laying on the ground. <laughs> so, um, see, I'm at the park. Well, everybody's busy, stuck in their own default modes. Um, that would be the programming and beliefs that you took upon yourself when growing up and now. Um, so I've been on a spiritual awakening for three years now. Three years ago, um, state of Arizona took my last child. They have taken all my children and I understand why now. When life throws you challenges, some of us take three or four times, like me, um, to kind of get it right. And I've been looking for, how do you say, um, I've been looking for guidance my whole life. And some people, like when I got away from a bad relationship um, and went from Lakeside, Arizona to Winslow, Arizona, um, so I had to do some things and to get away from him. I walked in the hospital, told him I was going to kill myself if they didn't um, get me away from that guy I was going out with. So then they put me in Pineview, and Pineview said I could stay there for like a week. But then I was only allowed to stay there for three days. But it still helped me get away from him. That was kind of the extreme after... Um, I didn't control the situation right, and he got my vehicle impounded. Now I let him follow me on a Facebook because he, one of those people that just thinks that they do no wrong and blame it on everybody else can't take responsibility for their own actions, basically. So I have been on a spiritual awakening the day they severed my rights to my daughter Trinity. is the day that it was really hard for me. I'll put it that way. Um, people in Winslow would call me a walking miracle because of some of the things I was going through, the life lessons that I went through my whole life. Um, I'm grateful that they happened because I've learned a lot of great skills. I'm street smart and apparently intelligent, book smart. Um, a lot of things that society made me think that was not right, that I was unworthy, and all kinds of things. And I've since learned, um, I triggered my spiritual awakening, but I know now that everything happens in divine timing, and um, it takes situations, circumstances um, to help you push you back on the right path so obstacles are just um there to help you get on the right path basically so i used to be in a constant i can't do anything i can't do anything good i'm not pretty enough nobody likes me um situation my whole life and my whole life i've just i wanted to be loved pretty much. Um, I had a mom that growing up I never got taught life lessons or life living. I don't know um, how to clean, how to do chores, how to I used to pray that I wanted to have a church family, a par parents that would love me for me. So um, I thought that the best way to get what I wanted was to jump from guy to guy. And all I was creating was tons of <laughs> life experiences and heartache and pain and suffering. But still holding on to the fact that all I want is love, basically. Um, and a lot of, in society, um, people are reaching out for... Um, acceptance and forgiveness by other people with 
outside themselves. And I just recently changed my perspective that nobody can make you feel anything. That's for you to decide for your own feelings. If something that somebody is saying is hurting you, then you need to clean and clear and heal your own issues. Um, I don't, like, I, I guess everybody judges people. I have an understanding now that, um, in basically my whole life, I've never really judged anybody. I've helped a lot of people, and I can never understand why I couldn't help myself, because I could help save other people from, um, hurting themselves. And I've always been respectful and hard-headed. My soul adopted parents could tell you that. I'm hard-headed. I can admit that. Um, stubborn. But now I've realized that if you change your frequency and vibe higher, pay attention to your emotions because 98% of our thoughts are not our own. If you study access consciousness, um, with Dr. Dane here and Gary Douglas, um, they'll teach you about that. They have a book called Being You, Changing the World. Um, I kind of skimmed through it, but I still grasp the understandings of it. Hey, there's like a bee or something right here. Look. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but right on. It's not bugging me. It's welcome here. And so, um, so if you change the frequencies around you and just listen to higher frequencies, um, I would be careful with, um, as long as you have loving, selfless intentions and that you just want to spread love to this world, you'll get it. And eventually, I eventually got it. So, um. The biggest thing that humanity is unaware of is that where you put your focus, you're sending energy thought waves out into this world, this mass world that is basically frequency waves. Um, and like you hear that yard, uh, it's probably a, a weed cutter or one of those things. Okay, yeah. Um, so...